Data-directed programming is another way to implement generic functions, with a slightly different approach. So how does that work? Well, it stems from the observation that there's nothing addition-specific about the add function that we defined for type dispatching. Add just looked up the implementation for addition in a dictionary, and then applied that function to its arguments. Well, why can't we have an even more generic version that handles all operators? So the idea is to have one function for all operator types pairs, where types itself can be a tuple of different types of the arguments passed in to the operator. So here's a totally generic function, def apply, takes in an operator name and then two arguments. So the operator name is going to be something like add, and x and y are going to be rational or complex numbers. The first line gets the tags for the two arguments. The second line constructs a combined key, which has both the operator name and the tags. And then the third line looks up in a dictionary of all implementations for all operators applied to all sequences of types, the particular function that's going to do the work for the specified operator and arguments, and then calls that on the two arguments x and y. Okay, so we happen to have an implementation waiting for us that does exactly that. This apply function is exactly what I went through before, but let's look at some examples of how it's called. So apply can take add as its operator, a complex number, which is really just one and a half, and then a rational number, three halves, which is another one and a half. So one and a half times, well, plus one and a half is three with zero imaginary component. And what happens if we multiply one half times a complex number that's magnitude 10 and angle one? Well, now we have something that's magnitude five and angle one. So this is a function that can add and multiply any of the types that we've created so far in our arithmetic system. Same implementation we saw before, but what are these apply implementations? Well, we have every operator, here we're just doing addition and multiplication, and then we have every combination of type tags that we could imagine. Two complex numbers, add complex. A complex and a rational number, well then we add the complex and the rational number. So, these are all the different things that we could reach, and here are all the functions that actually do the combining. And the one new part is that we have a function to multiply complex and rational numbers together, which just creates a new complex number with a magnitude that's scaled by the rational numbers numerator divided by the denominator. That's a floating point representation of the rational number. The angle doesn't change because R doesn't have an imaginary component. And then multiplying rational and complex numbers is the same as multiplying complex and rational. We just switch the order of the arguments. Rz becomes Zr. Okay, so if you think about it, type dispatching focuses on a particular operation, like addition. It then considers all the different type combinations and gives us a function that does the work. Message passing is a little bit different. It starts with what is the type of the thing that's going to respond to the message and passes a message to, for instance, a complex number, passing any other arguments along with it. And that's kind of how the object system works. So you can think of data-directed programming as a generalization over both of those things, which has just one table that considers all possible combinations of operations and types and gives a function to actually do the work for each one of those combinations. And if we check, we'll see that the tests pass. So this apply function works as we described. 